Hello to everyone who are tuned in right now. Welcome to SNDC Field Residences for a very special series of SNDC The Good Fit. And since I'm here, we're going to talk about basketball. Pero bago yan, gusto kong malaman nyo na today is a very special day sa lahat ng mga tatay. Because today is Father's Day. Kaya happy Father's Day sa lahat ng mga daddy. At alam nyo ba na napakaganda nitong araw na to? Kasi tayo masusunod. Lahat ng choices nasa atin. And I chose to be alone. So, since this is my alone time, I want to spend it with you and teach you basic skills about basketball. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dre. Ang ginagawa mo rito? Dad, it's Father's Day and I don't want you to be alone. Huh? At alam mo ba, Dad? Dito sa SMDC Field Residences, meron silang rooftop indoor basketball court. At may magandang idea ko dyan. Since magsasama tayo the whole day for Father's Day, why not let us teach our viewers some basic skills and moves about the sport we love. Pero bago natin gawin yan, I want to remind everyone watching to like and subscribe sa official channel ng SMDC which is at the official SMDC. Let's play ball. Yes! Okay. Great, tandaan mo yung house natin sa tabi ng basketball court man. Oh, yes! The year 2005, we used to live in a townhouse mm -hmm. and believe it or not, merong full-sized basketball court. Isang full court, outdoor and every day kami ng kapatid ko and our friends that we made there naglalaro ng basketball almost every day. Mm, meron pa nga time na kasi every time na I'm going to sleep of course mm. kailangan ko silang uh, puntahan sa room nila I check I check sila kung natutulog na so ako naman nung time na yun I was about to sleep siguro nung mga 10, 11 yun Around yeah. yeah that time. So nakalimutan ko silang tawagin nandun pa rin sila sa court. I'm thankful kahit you know we went home late Dad still allowed us to play basketball the next day because he knows it's very healthy and fun to do it at a very young age. And tignan mo naman, dahil dun, until now, naglalaro pa rin ako ng basketball. No, very ano lang, expensive. Dahil natuto ka yung mamili ng rubber shoes eh. <laughs> that is true. Well, indoor, outdoor man, as long yeah. as it's basketball and with your friends, that is gonna be very healthy for you. Diba? Tama. My turn. Alright. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Edo, I've always wanted to ask you, how come? Ever since grade school, high school, or even in the amateurs, tuwing naglalaro ko ng basketball, I don't see you there. Pero sinasabi mo sa akin, you watch the game. So, saan ka nanonood ng game namin? Sa TV or kunyari lang? No, I, I don't join other parents or... Basta andun lang ako uh, in a place na you can see. Kasi, ang hirap, di ba? People are comparing you to me right away. Okay. Yeah, that's unfair naman dahil iba na yung narating ko and you're still in high school during that time. So, to lessen your pressure, hindi ako nagpapakita. Pero I'm always there watching you. I see. Hmm, since I have you on camera, saan ka umuupo? Ah, uh, sa taas. Wait, taas? Nosebleed? Yeah, doon sa malapit na sa bleacher. So, better for me to see the game, tapos, hindi niyo ako mapapansin. So, at least I feel better now, knowing kung saan ka umupo pala. Hmm. Woo! Okay, ito naman. Diba, when you're still a kid, around 4 or 5, you're watching my game, pero you're not that interested yet. Right. So, that's why, 
I know you don't remember my game. Pero ngayon, napapanood mo ako sa YouTube. So what can you say? What can I say? I am a proud son. And at the same time, gusto ko rin matutunan yung mga moves mo. Because back then, you were known as the Tower of Power. And ito, follow-up question lang. Tower of Power, but you were 6'4 at that time. So does that mean yung mga kaposition mo as a center and power forward, 6'4 din? Hindi, they're taller than me. Meron akong kalaban na 7-footer. Meron 6'8, 6'9, 6'6. Pero, naging Rookie of the Year MVP ka at the same year. Oh well, sa akin kasi, ang sagot ko lagi dyan is... Uh, Right timing. Kapag, uh, right place at the right time. Yung pagpasok ko sa PBA nun. Oh, well, I hope nga, since kahit sasabihin natin na all his games are out there, pero some of them are not online. Kaya if every, anyone watching, if you guys have copies of my dad's tapes, please let us know. Yes. Ito, dad. I can still remember, till this day, all of my bad games. Pero none. As in, wala doon sa bad games ko. Did you ever tell me na may mali ako or you never told me to improve on anything? As in, pagdating natin sa kotse or sa bahay, we don't talk about basketball anymore. Kahit yung mga bad games ko in the past. How come? Well, una, based from my experience, uh, nung time ko kasi, I grew up with uh, my mom, Lola Alice, yes. di ba? And uh, old Lola. So, wala rin silang sinasabi sa akin. They always watch, pero of course, they don't know much about the game. So, I think it's better that way. And, uh, pangalawa, you have a coach. Yes. Yung coach, nakikita lahat. You played well, you played bad, ano yung mali sa'yo. Siya na yung nagagalit sa'yo. Am I correct? Yes. So, ba't ko pa tadagdagan yun? So, alam mo na yung mistakes mo, yung nagawa mo noon, napagsabihan ka na. And I don't want to add up. It's always like that. To all the parents out there, na yung mga anak naglalaro, just leave them to the coaches. Alam nila yung ginagawa nila. Huwag na tayo makialam, especially during the game. It's not good. <laughs> Whew! Yes! Okay naman. Year, uh, what's that? 2017, you joined D-League, right? Yes. Under the AMA Online Education. Okay. And before that, you were still acting. So, yung basketball mo... Well, balancing. Pero nakafocus yeah. muna ako sa showbiz life. Kaya lang, when you, before you enter uh, the D-League during that time, di ba, nagtanong ka sa akin kung pwede kitang uh, i-train muna. Yes. May natutunan ka ba naman na apply mo sa D-League? To be honest, uh, meron at may wala. But, okay, here's the thing. Okay. When it came to the D-League, I realized that I can actually defend players bigger and stronger than me. But, no offense, my dad did everything that he could para turuan ako ng mga skills and moves na pwede kong gamitin at that amateur level. Kasi dito sa Philippines, yung amateur level natin is almost as the same as the pros. And I'm very thankful the first person I asked for advice and skills and training is my dad. And going back, yes, I did learn a lot from him. Pero, itong follow-up question, how come with all the moves that you've taught me, bakit pagdating sa game, mas nagamit ko pa, or in other words, mas nag-excel pa ako sa defense? Eh, hindi naman natin pinag-aralan yun together. Well, ano ka rin eh, you have an, mataas din naman yung uh, IQ level mo sa basketball, and of course, napagdaanan mo na rin lahat yan, and you still remember that, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, ikaw naman. Kamalikot! Ayun. Yes! Okay. Ito na, Dad. Mm. My final question for you. Since I'll be joining the pros this coming month, what can you give as an advice or tips for me pagpasok ko dito sa TV? Um, just have fun. Enjoy every game. Katulad nga nang sabi sa akin, every practice, you're having fun. Nagtatawa nang kayo. Uh, Kumbaga, masaya kayo. During the game, ganun din. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Kahit pa paano, rookie ka pa rin. And pag nilagyan mo ng pressure yun na I need to prove something, ganito, ganyan, mahirap. Mahirap yun. Enjoy. Follow the play. Follow the, um, your coach's advice. Tapos dun, uh, relax ka lang. And 
Kaparang nangyari sa D-League, di ba? Wala kang ina-expect dahil gusto mo lang maglaro and you don't know what's going to happen dahil matagal ka nag-artista, you've been out for basketball for a long time, pero you still have game. Wow. Di ba? Okay. Pag so, ganun lang yun. Enjoy ka lang. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'll remember that and make sure if I do play and for everyone watching, please do support us. Yep. For no pressure. Uh, sa TV lang ako manonood. Or, ah yes, I agree. Ganun talaga eh. Ganun follow the protocols, di ba? Protocols, saka mas masarap sa TV. Napansin ko eh. Kasi nilapit ng CR eh, sa TV. Pag andun ka nanonood, layo pa. Makikida ang ka, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So, babalik ka, excuse me, excuse me. Di ba? Yes. So, okay na yung sa bahay lang. Tapos, uh, andun lang. Eat, drink, while watching. Oh my goodness, lumalabas na lang edad ni dad. But it's fine. At least yeah. he's still healthy. So, playing basketball and working out. Pag half-time text na lang kita. I don't check my phone. <laughs> To all the fathers and kids out there, if you live in a place with amenities like this indoor basketball court, please take advantage of it. Mag-basketball kayo. It's a good bonding. And basketball is a good sport and a good workout na rin. Oo, alam mo dad, tamang-tama ang sinabi mo dahil pwede yan isang good dad advice for this episode para sa lahat ng mga fathers out there who want to bond and have fun with their kids. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa mga binigay kong advice. Ang next episodes, iisa-isahin natin ang fundamental skills ng basketball. With me and Andre. So we will see everyone on our next episode dito lang sa SMDC, The Good Fit. See you guys! Ano dad? 10 straight free throws? Ha? Pagod na ako. Ikaw na lang. Ha <laughs> ha!